Hey guys, Connie here. So today I'm going to do an update on our silkworms. And as you can see, they've turned into into silk moths. And it's not, did you know the scientific name for the silk moth is a bombix mori? Bombix mori. You can see here. They, he, this is two pairs here. You can see they're mating. And there's a big difference here. This is the female. They have a big abdomen. And this is the small male over here. Um, did you know that also the, the, um, the silk moths don't, do not have the ability to fly. And they don't have any color. We can see here, yeah, the, these are still normal. These ones here yeah, are still mates. I can see yeah, there's, there's eggs all around here. And you can see the gray ones. These are the, the, the fertilized ones. And these yellow ones, these, these are still, um, these still need to develop a little bit more. And after after these after the silkworms have hatched, they they will try to find they will, they will try to mate, and they will lay their eggs and then they'll die because they don't have a they don't they don't last very well long. And you can see here yeah, is an empty cocoon, and. Silkworms are also um, used all around the world with the, for their silk. So this is an empty cocoon. You can see it inside. It's got uh, the old um, si the old skin. So this the 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 silkworms. They eat white mulberry leaves, and when the the silk moths when they hatch, they they don't normally eat or drink anything. Their whole purpose is to find a mate and lay eggs, and then they die. And also an, another thing, if you feed the silkworms as as babies, if you feed them beetroot leaves, they will they will spin pink silk. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like and subscribe this video. See you guys next time.